Hello and welcome to the classroom. Oh, hi, Sue. Sue, do you like music? Well, today we're going to learn about a xylophone. It's a musical instrument. Do you want to make a xylophone today for art? Would you like to make one too? We'll also be reading a book. It's called Xavier Ox's Xylophone Experiment. We're even going to be making our own xylophone, a water xylophone for science. Are you ready to get started? Okay, Sue, see you later. Let's get started by doing our class job. Do you remember what our class job is? We have to feed Fred, our pet fish. Hi, Fred. Here's some fish food for you. Do you wanna zoom over and see Fred a little closer? Okay, let's go. Well, here's Fred, now you can see him. A little bit closer, looks like he's having a great day. Well, now that we've checked on Fred, let's zoom back out and let's do our calendar time together. Here we go. The month is January. How are we gonna count the numbers today? Let's reach into our pail and check. Up and down. So you can stand up and sit down as we count, or you could put your arms up and your arms down if you'd rather do that. Are you ready? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Today is January 12th. Can you say today's date? It's January 12th. If you want to know what day of the week it is, go up to the top. Today starts with F, and I know F says F. So what day starts with that sound? Friday. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Well, it is time to look outside the window and see what your weather is like today. And then we'll dress weather bear. Did you check? Is your weather sunny, cloudy, windy, rainy, snowy? When I do like this with my microphone, just shout out whatever your weather is. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is... It is, it is out today. It is, it is, it is out today. Well, let's dress Weather Bear. We are going to put on something warm for Weather Bear. How about a long sleeve shirt? And oh, Look at this, this looks warm. And let's put on a coat for Weather Bear and a hat. What season is Weather Bear dressed for? Winter, winter is the season right now. Well, that was our calendar and weather time. And now it's time for... Our letter of the day. Today's letter is letter X. Can you say X? X. Do you have an X in your name? If your name has letter X, stand up. If your name has letter X, stand up. 
If your name has letter X, if your name has letter X, if your name has letter X, stand up. Well, today X is for xylophone. A xylophone is a musical instrument. So I decorated my letter X with music notes. I just drew an oval and a line. You can decorate your X today with music notes too, if you'd like. You could even make them all different colors. Well, now that we can recognize letter X, let's practice writing it. To write letter X, we're gonna start at the top, slide down to the bottom, go back up and move over and slide the other way. This way, that way. Let's practice writing uppercase letter X. Slide this way and then slide that way. This way, that way. I like to say crisscross when I'm practicing my letter X's. Criss, cross, criss, cross. Well, every letter has two. Uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, uppercase. And here's lowercase x. They look the same. Lowercase is just smaller. So let's make a lowercase letter x. Slide this way, slide that way. If you're using handwriting paper, then that lowercase x is going to be downstairs. This way, that way, this way, that way. Criss, cross, criss, cross, criss, cross. Great job. I want to give you a sticker for your handwriting paper. Now we know what letter X looks like. We can recognize it. We can write it. So next we'll talk about the sound that letter X makes. Actually, letter X makes two sounds. To me, it sounds like K and S. K -s, k -s, k -s. You try. K -s, k -s, k -s. It sounds like my water squirter. K -s, k -s, k -s. Can you pretend to have a water squirter? K -s, k -s, k -s. Letter X makes the sound like my water squirter. But you don't hear that sound at the beginning of words. You usually hear that sound ks, 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 at the end of some words. X at the, begin at the beginning of some words can say z as in xylophone or x as in x-ray. But today let's focus on that sound ks, 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 that's found at the end of words. Who can help me sing the vowel song? A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U. These are the vowels. High five to all my vowel singers out there. High five, high five, high five. Well, we put X at the end after the vowels today because X says, at the end, not the beginning. Let's start with letter A. A says, ah, 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 as in achoo. And X says, x, x, x. Let's put those sounds together. That's called blending. Ah, x, ah, x, ax. That's a real word. Here's an ax. It's what you use for chopping wood. Ax. Okay, let's do the next one. Start with E. X. 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 Let's put a letter R in the front. Let's see if we can read this word. I know R says R. R. X. X, Frex, like a T Rex. Let's do the next one. I X. I says I like an icky sticky lollipop. I X. 
X. X. Let's put a letter F in the front. I know what letter F sounds like. X. X. Fix. Fix. Next we have O X. O says ox. 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 And that's a real word. An ox is an animal. Let's do the last one. Ox. You has a tummy ache, remember, and says ox. 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 Let's put a letter T at the end. Or excuse me, at the beginning. X is at the end. Now let's read this word. T, ox, t, ox, tux. Look, you read five words. Ax, rex, fix, ox, tux. Well, that was our letter time for today. And now it's time for sight words. This whole week we've been working on three sight words. Can you remember what this word is? We, you and me. We, what's this word? Find, and what's this word? One, we find one. Let's read our My X book. It has those sight words, we find one. Everything on this page is going to either start with X or end with X. Ready to read? We find one. Box. Good job. We find one x ray. Last one. We find one six. Number six. You did a great job today reading our sight word reader. Well, next it's time for math, and we're going to be doing some music note patterns. A pattern is something that repeats over and over and over. We just have to figure out what's repeating. So take a look at this first one. I see pink and then green. Oh, and then it's back to pink. So I think I found my pattern. Pink, green, pink, green, pink. What will be next? Green. The green music note will be next. Okay, let's do the next one. I see green and then pink and then orange. Oh, and back to green. So I think I found my pattern. Green, pink, orange music notes. Green, pink, orange. Green, pink. What will be next? Orange, good. I'll just draw an orange note for us. All right, let's do the next one. We've got to figure out the pattern. Okay, I see orange, pink, pink, and then back to orange. So here's my pattern. Orange, pink, pink. Orange, pink, pink. Orange, pink, pink. Very good. Last one, everybody. Let's figure out this pattern. I see green, green, orange, orange, and then back to green. So this whole thing is my pattern. Green, green, orange, orange, green. What will be next? Another green, very good. Green, green, orange, orange, green, green. Okay, well you did a great job with music note patterns today for math. Now it's time for science and we are going over to the science table and make a water xylophone. Let's go. Well, here we are at the science table. We're going to make a water xylophone. The first thing that I'm going to do is add some water into some of these jars. The first jar, I won't add any water to. The second jar, we'll get a little water and a little more in this jar. And a little more. And a lot in this jar. Let's color the water so we can see it a little bit better. 
we'll put a blue drop of food coloring in this jar and we'll put red here, green in this jar and yellow in the last jar. Okay, let me stir these colors up. Okay, now watch what happens when I tap this pencil on these jars. Listen to the different sounds that the jars make. Did you hear the different sounds? Let's do it again. So what caused the different sounds? Well, that has to do with vibrations. This jar had no water, so the vibrations were very fast and the sound was very high. This jar had a lot of water in it. The vibrations were slower, so the sound was lower. Let's listen again. Why don't you try to make a water xylophone today? That was our science activity. And now it's time for art. For art today, we're going to make a xylophone. You can make a xylophone using strips of paper like this, two long strips, and then you could take some shorter strips and go across like this. And you could glue that, or you could use popsicle sticks. You could actually color the popsicle sticks with your markers. And then you could go across like this. So there you have it. You could make a paper xylophone or a popsicle stick xylophone, or you could even just color a xylophone and use your markers. This was our art project for today. For story time today, we're going to read a book called Xavier Ox's Xylophone Experiment. Listen for all the times that letter X is used in this story. Xavier Ox loved to play the drums while he sang and he could shake the shakers while he danced. By the time Xavier came to Alphabetty School, he was an excellent musician. His parents tied six boxes together to make him a drum set. One day at school, Alphabetty taught her class the alphabet song. Xavier sang along. He also snapped his fingers and tapped his toes. Go, Xavier, exclaimed Alphabetty. The next day, Xavier brought his drum set to school. May I play during the alphabet song? He asked. Please do, said Alphabetty. Xavier's sticks went clickety-clack, clickety-clack, bippity-bop-bop on the boxes. It was so exciting the class stopped singing. They watched Xavier's drumming explosion. Xavier became more and more excited. His sticks pounded, the boxes bounced, and bits of boxes flew everywhere. When Xavier finished, he was exhausted. Oh my, said Alphabetty. You get lots of exercise when you play the alphabet song. She examined the broken boxes. These can't be fixed, Xavier. You're a very strong little ox, so you need a stronger musical instrument. Let's think about it, then we can experiment. After recess, Alphabetty showed Xavier a picture. Look at this xylophone, she said. Wow, said Xavier, how much does it cost? Six hundred dollars, said Alphabetty. That's too expensive, Xavier whispered. Alphabetty smiled. Exactly, but we could experiment with making a xylophone for you, Xavier. That would be great. 
Alpha Betty explained the experiment to the class. She read a list of supplies they would need. Boards to make the box, extra strong wood for the bars, pegs, felt, sandpaper, glue, and tools. We need a lot of stuff, Xavier said nervously. Alexander Anteater raised his hand first. I can bring boards to make a box. Maxwell Moose quickly added, I'll explore in the woods with my mom. We can find extra strong wood for the bars there. Rosie Raccoon jumped up. You'll need two mallets, Xavier. I'll make them tonight. And I'll bring my toolbox, said Alpha Betty. Xavier grinned. I can take care of all the extras. Then he shouted, thank you, everyone. The class arrived at school early the next day. They were excited about the xylophone experiment. First, Alpha Betty sawed the wood into bars of different lengths. Next, she helped Xavier make a box. He carefully laid the bars across it. Now our music expert needs to test the tones, said Alpha Betty. Xavier flexed his arms, then he pounded away with the two mallets. The xylophone seemed to explode. Bars bounced off the box and flew into the air. The class ran for cover. Alpha Betty shook her head and smiled. Test the tone softly, Xavier. We'll fix the bars in place later. So Xavier gently tapped each bar. The tones are exactly right, he exclaimed. Now the whole class pitched in to help Xavier. They finished sanding the wood bars. They glued pegs and felt to the box. Alpha Betty said the glue would be dry by morning. The xylophone was almost complete. In bed that night, Xavier closed his eyes. He hummed. He wiggled his toes to the beat, and he practiced playing the alphabet song on an imaginary xylophone. The next day, the xylophone was ready. All the students gathered around Xavier. First, he softly tapped out the tune to the alphabet song. Then he played it louder and bouncier. The class happily began to sing along. Suddenly, there was an unexpected sound. Someone was playing on a saxophone. It was Alpha Betty. The class exploded with excitement. Alexander Anteater stood on his hands. Bobby Baboon bebopped. Dilly Dog danced. And Xavier Ox played his xylophone like an expert. It was the most exciting performance of the alphabet song ever. When they finished, they fell to the floor. They were all exhausted. All except Xavier Ox. Thank you, everyone, Xavier exclaimed. Our experiment worked. The xylophone is excellent. The saxophone player is exceptional. And, Xavier Ox grinned, we'll all get lots of extra exercise whenever we sing the alphabet song. The end. Oh, that was a fun story. Well, we made an, a xylophone of our own today. A water xylophone during science and a paper or popsicle stick one during art. I hope you'll have a great weekend and join me next time here in the classroom for more learning fun. Goodbye, everyone. See you next time.